Hello everyone, welcome back to week two of the Vietnam War. First of all today, I'm going to talk about the first Indochina War, and that was between the years of 1946 and 1954. And the two main parties of this war was France and North Vietnam. They were the big players, but also there was other countries as well. One was China, and there was also a region called French Indochina. And this was basically just Asian people living in French rule. Also, um, a few main people of the First Indochina War was General Giap and also Ho Chi Minh. And one of the main reasons why this war kicked off was because North Vietnam wanted to be independent from French rule. Whereas the South, South Vietnam, they weren't too bothered about being independent. And also it doesn't help that North and South Vietnam had different views about communism. And so this led to North Vietnam fighting with France and it ended up in many thousands of deaths. Just to give you an idea on the stats of the First Indochina War, 75,000 French people ended up dying. But on the North Vietnam side, there was between two to 300,000 deaths for them, so quite a lot more than the French. Not only this, but the biggest victims were the civilians of Vietnam. Nearly 400,000 people died because of that. And in terms of who started what, it was France that started the violence and all the killing. And this started because North Vietnam said in a press conference that they were wanted to become independent. And so France went over and started bombing all the people of North Vietnam. And this made things a lot worse because France thought it would make them back down. But instead North Vietnam got back up and started a war. And from there on it just was eight years of constant war between French, Indochina and North Vietnam. Next we have the Viet Minh and this was a group that was made by someone called Ho Chi Minh um, and that was in 1941. This group wanted two things but most of all they just wanted to become independent but also um, to make their numbers bigger they had a lot of people on their side who was wanting um, Vietnam to become communist. And the reason why um, the communist people helped the Viet Minh was because if they thought they could help um, Vietnam become independent as a country, then at a later stage they could then declare themselves communists as well. The Viet Minh had a lot of World War II duties. As for example, they helped fight um, against Japan with the Allies, and that was in China. But not only this, it lasted a long time, this Viet Minh group, as in um, the First Indochina War, they won a massive battle against France um, at the Battle of Bien Dien Phu, and, and that was decided in 1954. And on the bad side for the Viet Minh, even though they won against France in the First Indochina War, it didn't mean that they had control over South Vietnam, who was totally against North Vietnam. And this would be decided over the whole course of the Vietnam War, which would end in the 1970s. Next today we have someone called General Giap. I won't say his full name because I can't say it. And he was a very close ally to the person Ho Chi Minh, and he was also considered one of the best military thinkers of the 1900s. And this was because he was basically just good at planning. Before he started going into military, he was actually a history teacher and he was also obsessed with Napoleon from the French Revolution and the Nap Napoleonic Wars. And because of this, General Giap was nicknamed the Red Napoleon because of the red that Vietnam has on its flag. And with the help of General Giap, the Viet Minh ended up winning lots of very known and important battles in the Vietnam War. And the main reason why General Giap helped Ho Chi Minh was because he wanted communism and independence as well. Next we have the Battle of Dien Bien Phu, which was in 1954, and this slide ties in nicely to the First Indochina side. And this battle was a battle that North Vietnam won against the French. 
This battle had one major outcome, and, and that was like ended French rule in Indochina. And if you're wondering what Indochina is, I'm just saying it's a collection of countries in Southeast Asia. And these are Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia and China. And this battle ended quite suddenly because France ended up surrendering to North Vietnam in 1954, which happened to be at the end of the First Indochina War. And by North Vietnam winning this war, it meant that not only North Vietnam but other countries such as Laos and Cambodia ended up becoming independent because France ruled them before. And in terms of countries becoming independent in the 1950s and 60s, I'd say this, this battle marked one of the most important independences of this time era. Because it started something called communism. This battle made the French people sign a treaty, a peace treaty, and this treaty forced them not to come back again with war, as they were totally kicked out of ruling um, Southeast Asian countries. However, this war did start something um, intimidation across the world, because people were worried about communism expanding throughout the world. And there was no countries to keep them in line because France obviously retreated and surrendered. And because of this, no, there were no leaders in trying to stop communis communism from spreading. America thought they were responsible for stopping the expansion of communism. And then from there on it started the Vietnam War which would last for over 20 years. And that's everything for today's lesson. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.